Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday. The S&P 500 is down 0.03% today. Not a bad result, actually, because the CPI report came out today. It was a little worse than, you know, we've had in the past. It wasn't a really bad one, but we've had a pretty good reports going on here, especially since November. Uh, and so this one showed some decrease year over year in the inflation rate. Uh, but on the monthly basis, when you look at January versus December, a pretty good size jump of a half a percent uh, increase in, in overall prices. Uh, core inflation was up about 0.4%. Uh, those are pretty high. They were close to expectations. And I think that's why the market was hanging in there. And then we had a pretty big drop at you know earlier in the day because a couple of Fed governors came out and they were being pretty aggressive about you know how much rates are going to need to move up and what have you. And then we had another Fed governor come out later on in the day talk about hey maybe we're closer to the top and we might be able to you know kind of settle in there and pause and see what happens. The market responded positively to that, and really that's what kind of got us back to you know to even. However, if if you look at the bond market, which I consider right now a leading indicator for the stock market, the two-year treasury, the yield went up quite a bit, was up at 4.26%, uh, uh, sorry, 4.628%. Uh, and so the high we hit was 4.7% back in November for this little run that we're in right now. And uh, so, you know, that's been moving up fairly strongly ever since the job report came out at 517,000 jobs. Uh, the terminal rate has now moved up over 5.2% for projection. Uh, that's the highest it's been since, you know, this, this whole thing started. So uh, really, I think that the stock market's probably in for a little bit of a rough time here with interest rates moving upward because uh, the bond market's, I think, a little bit better at kind of analyzing these inflationary data and kind of moving Moving forward, uh, you have more institutional players in there, uh, and not so many of the kind of the individual buyers and dip buyers and things like that that sometimes can skew these markets. So, uh, could be a little bit of a struggle here. Not too surprising anyway, just because we had such a huge run in January to have a struggle as it is, even if you didn't have any inflation. Uh, when you stretch the rubber band, you're kind of that much, you're bound to have some pullback. Uh, so we'll see how much this uh, it applies. But you know, yesterday we did get defensive in the bond area. We put in some inverse positions and, and that actually worked out pretty well today. Uh, and so I think, you know, it's a pretty good time to be pretty defensive for your bond positions. We have short-term treasuries. Uh, we have short-term uh, tips uh, and inverse positions as, as most of our bond uh, market holdings. So uh, that paid off today uh, was good. Uh, and we've got more conservative in our stock market, you know, allocations just in, in, you know, in anticipation of maybe the stock market eventually following the bond market as far as that goes to using more utilities and high dividend paying stocks uh, and some energy actually. And energy did well today, uh, you know, because energy can run on its own path and uh, it seems to be having a little bit of an uptick here. So we'll see how that plays out. But uh, anyway, that's what's happening uh, today. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Uh, very fascinating to see if the market can still hang in there, uh, even with the bond market showing some weakness here. So look forward to uh, seeing you then. Thank you.